Alright, this right here is dedicated to Trayvon Martin. My heart goes out to his family. I, nobody should have to go through somebody taking their children's life or anybody's life for no reason because of hate. This, the whole situation is sick. The evidence is there and they're trying to, of course, prolong it. This guy's already in hiding. So finding him to charge him is going to be pretty much impossible. Excuse me one second. But when it comes to the black community, shit like this, it, it, it happens all the time. All of a sudden, they have all these candidates are stepping up saying that it's a hate crime, this and that, this and that, that we need justice. The black community been needed justice. Rick Santorum should not even be speaking on this topic with his racist ass. Now Obama is talking about it. Do something about this shit, Mr. President. Where is the justice for your people? For our people? Not just a black man, but an American citizen. This young boy was shot and killed for no reason. I'm not going to get into details because the details is already out there. I'll clean that in a second. But this shit is not new to us. People being killed by police officers all the time. All the time. Look at that. Look, look, the Wiener, or however you pronounce his name, stuck by a motherfucking plunger by these cop, by these police officers. And it's crazy that the same police officer that sodomized this guy with a plunger, I just found out today that. He was responsible for the death of my barber brother. And he still has his job. Uh, there was a settlement. That's how he built his barber shop out here in Georgia. But the, the point is, this shit's been going on too long. Too long. A white person kill a black person, they get away with it. Black man kill a white person. Is a nationwide search. Look at this this guy that they, they they gave him the death sentence and death penalty in Jackson, Georgia. He he was so called. Uh, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Convicted. Of, I'm not a criminal, so you know, I used to gang bang and uh, associate myself with criminal activities, but I'm no longer a criminal, so I don't remember all these exact terms and shit. But he, he was convicted for killing a police officer. You know, they pleaded. They pleaded to spare his life. That They even have all the correct evidence. Yet they killed this man. This white guy killed this young black man and it's okay? Come on, man. Where's the justice? Don't forget, just recently, like a year or two ago, uh, a, a black guy was coming out of a bar. It hit, ran into a police car. They shot at him. It was like four or five officers shot at him, reloaded, shot again, killed him. In New York, like five, six years ago, I don't remember the exact year, but it's been a couple years now. Black guy going to his apartment, reaching for his keys. They shot, reloaded, shot again. How do you reload and continue, continuously shoot somebody? Shouldn't the first shot disable whatever weapon they had? Shit needs to stop. There should change for you. As I always say, you fucking idiots, man. And it's not even Obama's fault. It's just this broke system and people getting away with their racist acts. Just the other day in Mississippi, they they were they were hanging black people. Like shit is crazy. You still lynching people, man, and getting away with it? Like, where is the justice, man? Shit needs to end, man. But white people, they pick and choose who they want to pick on. This is not 1869. We're going to bust our ratchets.
black people are so you we're so used to killing one another we need to unite look at the the, the, the South American gangs they they're they're, they're, they're they're fucking uniting we need to do the same man crazy famous shit and look at the Palestinians and, and the Israels and in, in Israel I apologize the hate needs to end man if I can change my lifestyle and be a positive person, the next man can too. I don't want to hear, oh, you're a tough guy, so they can't change. No, you're not a tough guy. My gang, no fact, responsible for so many murders. I tell people all the time, there's nothing positive about my movement. Yes, I acknowledge it. There's nothing but ignorance. Now, the Black Panther Party was originally start off with a good cause and then it just got turned into something else and you know the media is always gonna flip the flip the story and 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 throw more dirt than than than, than the dirt that's already there like Hugh P. Newton man that, that man was for the people but they talk about him like he was a black extremist no nah, he was a revolutionist man don't forget, he gave out free clothes and free food to, to, to black people that didn't have nothing. He took care of his kind. It's crazy. You know, I'm not a religious person, but for those that are religious, please pray for their family. You know, that's what they do. They believe in that stuff. Hopefully, they'll get some type of justice. I'm not going to sit here and say that. It'll be a waste of time because that's my beliefs. I don't want to affect your beliefs with my views. I'm not going to down you or anything. Although your religion have done some hateful, despicable things in the past, it's not my job to sit here and judge you, man. Not when I've done horrible things in my life. But what, what you guys say, forget, forget. Some people just can't get over it, man. Once again, rest in peace, Travis, Trayvon Martin, I believe that's his name, let me double check that, Trayvon Martin, yes, 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 shit's crazy, man, this is going to be my only, only video on this topic, I'm more likely not going to bring this topic up again, although the injustice still goes on, shit like this happens all the time, every day, as a teenager, I was pulled out by age 15, the cops didn't know my affiliation. They just looked at me as another black man. They pulled me out of the cab, told the cab to leave, and beat the shit out of me. Maybe that could be a reason why I have so much hatred for the pigs today. I feel like that was a part of the game. They were looking for somebody else. Unfortunately, it wasn't me. Good thing they didn't find the person they were. Good thing I wasn't the person they was looking for. <laughs> we found me in a gutter somewhere. But yeah. Until next time, soldiers, hold it down to the enemy. Your time is coming. Hope you die of anal cancer, bleed out your asshole tonight. Just die in your sleep. Save me the charge. <sighs> Vote around Paul 2012. Peace, love, and unity. The revolution grows.